once again by a meds good day I have here a uh, oxygen concentrator from Respironix Everflow and the problem with this one is within 20 minutes of operation it will alarm and uh, there's a faulty indicator so we're going to check this up what's inside and we'll see what's the culprit good day biomeds i have here a oxygen concentrator or oxygen supply made by everflow i think it's model 2012 and the problem with this one is it has an error continuous error meaning it, the buzzer is uh, ringing and I already checked the components and as we have here the components we have the compressor it's a Thomas brand compressor US and we have the oxygen separator or the air separator it has a two compartment uh, I mean three we have three compartment here that separates the oxygen from the other uh, ke chemical and we have here the board the board this one we have the switch we have the buzzer <laughs> I have the transformer, this one, from high voltage down to lower voltage. We have the timer. And we have the oxygen sensor, the pressure sensor, the oxygen sensor, the AC power. And we have here is the air output meaning every time it the compressor turns on it will suck a ambient air but before that we have the uh, air filter uh, it should be inserted in this area right here uh, every time it turns on it will suck and an air then it will filter first in this air filter so but before that we're going to clean this up and check all the components especially in this area uh, where the air is being separated can see the connection uh -huh. and in this area we have the uh -huh. this is the diaphragm bypass bulb So this one is the output. The auto pure auto output pass to this board, then return to that portion. Then we have the the flow meter, flow meter there. let's see the flow first uh, intake runs to this 
compressor here we have the dual pump compressor then it will come out to this tubings high pressure tubings then going to this area of the canister and okay it will separate the other chemicals from this three canisters and the output will be the oxygen i think it's 96 uh, yeah 96 96 percent oxygen output so first thing to do is to uh, check first the components in the board and test the compressor okay I'm going to check first the components here there's a burn out or uh, change value especially these capacitors Check the diodes. Okay. By the way, there's also a fan here. It serves as a cooling, cooling for the entire operation. There's the other cover. Would be the cooling system input and outlet the air passes to this portion and then will be going out in this area so I did check the components here and there is no problem with the board so one thing I've seen is the capacitor of the motor here I already pulled it out this one there's a 10 microfarad capacitors here it's a starting capacitor I think it's dual starting and running I'm going to check this up because maybe it has a different value now since it is uh, purchased in 2012 so there might be changes in the capacity okay so I'm going to check this up if it's okay then if not then we're going to purchase another capacitors and replace this one and going to test uh, the compressor and hope it does solve the problem okay I have here a manual uh, it indicates the possible cause and this is the problem that occurs Red lead illuminates continuously and audible alarm is sounding continuously. The device is detected symptom system malfunction. Okay, uh, the immediate action is to turn off the device and wait for 5 minutes and restart the device. If the condition persists, turn the unit off, connect a backup oxygen source and call your home care provider. So, meaning, call a service provider or company technician okay but first we have to check it totally I have here the capacitor and the tester it's digital it is a 10 microfarad 
capacitor I'm going to test this one uh, we're going to put it in capacitance meter and check the capacity okay oh as you can see the capacitance is 3.7 output meaning it is change so we're going to replace we're going to replace the capacitor I think this is the culprit okay there we go I think this is the problem now every time I turn on the machine it will start but for all uh, for about 20 minutes it will alarm as is as it is, is uh, indicated here red light illuminates so the explanation plus one is uh, our motor can start but for a long period it will start to uh, run quite, not quite enough it will start it to build up a heat in the motor compressor because of its capacitor not in a ideal value so we're going to replace capacitor and start again I hope it does solve a problem okay by meds we're going to start this up okay here we have the flow meter we're going to adjust this one to its higher level level 5 okay and as you can see there's the humidifier is bubbling up and okay we're going to run this machine for about two hours and hope it does not emit any alarm and going to check this again within two hours since uh, the operation only will last 20 minutes uh, when we first check this up so let's hope it does not emit an alarm again We'll see. Okay, biomeds. It's two hours already. Past two hours, and uh, we don't see any alarm. So this means the ever flow is now functional, and it will be used for twenty-four hours in the patient. going to uh, return this to the department to be used again and uh, at again we are going to calibrate this one first and we'll see if the auto is still at 96% that's on my other blog I will check the auto concentration okay 
that's all very much god bless and i hope you have a good day take care